Guess what? I'm doing this vlog fully in English. Many of my international friends have told me I love your vlogs, been watching them from the beginning, but I don't understand Dutch. Well, I thought, okay, let's just try a vlog in English because I know all my Dutch people out there are so smart and flexible that they'll understand English. So let's go international, guys. Now, as you've read in today's title, you're going to get ready with me. Yeah, my daily makeup routine and also get ready with me to go on another vacay while I pack up some last stuff, make myself ready, like change my clothes and do my hair, you're gonna see this routine. Warning, I'm not a makeup artist and sorry for the bad lighting. So start off by cleaning your face with cleansing oil. Of course, I took a bath before this, but even after that, always make sure your face is clean, clean, clean. Next, you set your face with toner or setting spray. Next, I use moisturizer or sunblock. I'm using L'Oreal Man Expert now, but you can use anyone. If you have oily skin, use a mattifying one. If you have very dry skin, use one that is very hydrating. And then, slap your face to make sure it is still there. <laughs> I also love to use the Benefit Eye Cream. I put it under my eyes and on top of my eyelids. It's very smooth and creamy. I love it. One of my secrets to fleeky eyebrows is the Dior Volume Maximizer. It's actually for your eyelashes, but I use it to keep my Chinese brows in place. <laughs> you can use it day and night and it will make your brows grow thicker. For my foundation, I use the Giorgio Armani High Coverage Foundation Balm. I love it because it's so smooth and creamy and very lightweight. You can drag it and dab it, put it however you want, as long as you just blend it very well. It's so compact and lightweight that I can take it everywhere I go and put it in any bag. And just do some touch-ups if necessary. I also use liquid foundations, but this is my favorite at the moment. Also make sure you put it on your neck so that it looks like one skin color and blend it very well. And then you're done. Easy. And when the volume maximizer on my eyebrows has dried up, I take my eyebrow pencil and fill in my eyebrows. You can shape it any way you want. Follow your natural eyebrow shape or make it bolder, have a higher arch, however you want. I don't know how other makeup artists do it because they always do their brows off camera. But yeah, this is how I do it on the other side. Just make sure you practice and do it in the shape you prefer. If you made any mistakes, it's okay. Because we have a magic trick with the concealer. You can clean up any mistakes with a very small precision brush. And then create the shape you prefer. You can have a very high arch or just a straight line. Just drag it onto your eyelids and blend it very well. Also do it on top so that you have a very clean and sharp brow. Also on the other side. And then make sure you blend it very well. Your fingertips are your best friend. But you can also use a very small beauty blender if you prefer. And with the excess concealer, just take your normal beauty blender and put it on the areas that you have more spots that you want to conceal. And then just dab, 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 blend, 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 until your skin looks perfect. And when I have time left in the morning, I take my Anastasia contour kit and take the dark shade with a brush and contour my forehead so that it doesn't look that big and just to give it a little color blend it very well and with the same color I put it underneath my jawbone and drag it down to my neck to conceal my double chin and then I also put it on my cheekbone just to cover my fat cheeks to make it look smaller and give it more dimension 
Next, I use the same contour palette to save time and put a nude color on my eyelid as eyeshadow and blend, blend, blend just to give myself a little color and not make me look so pale. Also on the other side and then you can also contour your nose to make it look smaller if you prefer to. I also go in with a darker color on the outer corners of my eyelids just to give it more dimension and make sure you blend 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 with your fingertips and to make everything pop even more I take my Bobbi Brown concealer in the lightest shade and my small precision brush and highlight my arch even more look at the difference also on the other side you can do this in any way you want Make sure it's blended very well with the magic fingertips. And if you have a little extra time, you can highlight all the right places to make sure they're not so dark and make you look like a little grandma with wrinkles. <laughs> yeah, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. <laughs> and then with the beauty blender, blend, 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 blend. Make sure you don't see all of that. Lol, I can't even blend well, <laughs> but preach what you teach. Just dab, dab, dab. Next, I take my Arch Gel Eyeliner and elongate my Chinese eyes. I usually only do a bold wing at night, but this is just a quick daily makeup routine. And my favorite mascara of all time, the Too Faced Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara, <laughs> which is true. Uh, yeah, you can find this at Seek. Shout out to you. Look at the length and the volume. Also, the same story on the other side. And there you have it. You can also just put it on your lower lashes. And lastly, I take my strawberry pomegranate aloe vera lip balm from the body shop, which enhances my lip color. And this is my everyday makeup routine within 10 minutes. So, what I basically do when going on a trip, this one was very last minute. I check my Instagram feed to see what colors would fit next. And then I think about outfits in my head of that color and write them down and then when I have to pack I pack those stuff in so it's very color coded and thought about yeah so I just put a few things in my suitcase but it's a mess <laughs> let's just go this means a next travel vlog is coming up Dubrovnik. So I collect all of these things and I can't wait to collect some more. So we're running late as always. We need to catch the train to go to the airport and stay tuned to see what country we'll be going next. Or can you already guess what? <laughs> now, with no further ado, Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell button to get notifications, give me a thumbs up, and comment down below to show some love. Love out!